Last time I was on this stage, Mum, was in grade seven when I went to Heart Highway. And I was, um, they cast me as the lead male in Gunsling and Sal because I had such a strong singing voice. <laughs> and it's a similar story to Mum's figure skating because um, after the concert, I guess the head lady for the Prince George Choir was in the audience. And uh, she asked if I could join the choir. And Mum said no, because I'd miss church. <laughs> now, I would have missed church. But... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this is a story um, Mum told about Long Beach. You, you cued it. Um, <clears throat> we would go to Long Beach to visit my brother Dave and his wife, Natal. That's not spelled right. Natal, right. They were running a cafe there. We would go down to the beach and play in the ocean. One time we went when Jim was two years old. He had a little pail and shovel, and when the tide went out, he would follow it and start digging into the sand. And the water would start coming in, and he would run as fast as he could and wrap his arms around my legs. He kept going after the ride and running, sorry, <clears throat> it's spell checker. He kept going after the tide and running back ahead of it. We thought it was very funny, but he didn't think so. <laughs> Another time we went with Uncle Duncan and Aunt Frances with a load of teens. Frances slept on one side of the van with the girls, and Duncan slept on the other side in the van on the other side. I got to sleep in the van because I had just had surgery a few weeks before. And early in the morning, Aunt Frances and two of the boys went clam digging, and they got two of them. Ernie got to stay home and watch the little ones. 